Caged Episode 7. Danger tries to drum up Sponsored and Wes's ways catch up with him. Bye. Riding a Huffy mountain bike. He's training for cardio. <laughs> my decision and let me tell you something man for this fight i'm gonna come in there and i'm gonna fight to win whoever's sitting in the ring across from me they're gonna feel sorry for him uh-oh someone's getting the treatment john wesley was given the treatment john wesley was given the treatment they made his first name all capital letters because he was what given the treatment You're right there, John. Putting the work in. John Wesley putting the work in. Responsible in a lot of ways. I might not make money, but I work every day. You know? And, and that sounds <laughs> At this point, I know, but that's how it is. I go to the gym and I work every day. And I work on being a good fighter. You doing all right? How's your eye? It's fine. I'm at sports. Now. Here he is. Here he is. I was really hard on him in the last video. And partially after the edit was done, I was kind of like, man. <laughs> I brutalized him a little because he was just spitting facts. I'm talking about Matt, the promoter. He was spitting facts, and I had to go after the length of his arms, and I had to just call him a T-Rex, and it was very lowbrow of me. Everybody's on the same page. Oh, good. I'm just really happy to see her. Um, it's good to see Danger's mom out of the hospital and doing well. She shouldn't drink as much, but she's trying her best. Uh, honestly, it's her only bad habit besides spending money. <laughs> Two horrible things, man. Jeez, Danger, I'm with you, bro. Oh, that's that Minden. That looks so disgusting. Grape tomatoes and oily cheese and overcooked bread. They think it's gourmet. Down in Minden, they think this is fucking the cream of the crop. The cream of the crop. <laughs> Let's go. Is this Giga Chad? <laughs> Oh, damn! We're tight training. John Wesley is sparring Chad. Come on, heads up. Why don't you just listen? Put your hand up. Just two more inches. Yes, sir. All right? Don't say yes, sir. You do it. Don't tell me yes, sir. You're not doing it. Who did I call? I like this guy. Heads up! This guy is no joke. I like... Whoa, head kick. Can I get out of this with my asshole? To be honest. This is where it's hard. In the fight, it's where it's easy. Chad just beating the fucking brakes off John Wesley. John doesn't have the confidence to close the distance and work because Chad is just levels above him with the stand up. You can see it. He is getting fucked up, and in my opinion, I don't mind hard sparring like that, but it's obvious that, you know, he just levels above him, and he's hitting him in the head repeatedly. So, you know, Chad should probably start chambering to the body. Drop Wesley to the body a few times. It's humbling, man. You're invincible when you're young, and then once that facade starts to wear thin, very few people ever get past that, and in long term, no one gets past it. I don't have a job. I don't have steady income right now. We're struggling with money. And One of the greatest lessons I can impart is you want money? Someone out there has your money. Uh, obviously, you have to have something to offer them. You can't just ask people for money. That would be psychopathic. But having something to offer the world or the, in the individual where it's a mutual exchange, you have to have the confidence to ask. Because if you don't ask, you're not going to receive in most cases because no one's trying to just up and give you money. So it's a powerful tool he's developing at a young age. Randy, he has a camera crew with him, a professional camera crew. These guys are so silly. They have zero business sense. Obviously, he has business sense and he opened a store, but that inability to see how valuable a young kid coming in with a camera crew, an MTV camera crew, and how much exposure that would get him. He has to work on his elevator pitch, that's for sure. Uh, bars, let's go. Wes is a rapper, let me find out. Hey, my money keep like a mother porn star. Naked girls around me, 
I love it. Wes is a rapper. And I just wanted to know that because I felt it was true from day one. I mean, I'm a big boy. I really ain't got no uh, bedtime. <laughs> Man, look, I ain't, I ain't, I'm done with all this talking. So, are we gonna hang out or no? You don't talk to me like that. <laughs> Yikes. Not the best game. What are y'all doing tonight? Oh my god. I didn't know I was talking to a nun. <laughs> <laughs> no game. I just got moved into my new apartment. Now I need somebody to come help me decorate. Hell no, I got work in the no one wants anything to do with him, man. Nobody. It's just, it's hard to watch now. It's like the 10th girl. Not one? Hey, if you have a fight coming up, like, in August. When we in August, uh, I would already be training. Are you nervous at all? Like, whenever What's going on here? Yeah. Red's new flirt, and it's also a local fighter, DJ, run for the hills. You know she has a child with Wes. You know this is in production. DJ, what are you doing? There's, there's probably a chance that one of these days you can be fighting Wesley. Maybe. <laughs> oh my talk. God. <laughs> so you're just going to talk about your ex. One of the well, best ways to, like, turn a man off. I know that if he found out that I was hanging out with another guy, like, even though he's doing whatever he wants to do right now, and that's fine, I don't care about it. If he found out that I was... Do whatever, he would freak out and try to take Jackson away from me because he's crazy like that. What if he bangs on the door one morning and you're, up, you're over here saying the night with me and he uh, bangs look, on the I, door? I don't, I'm not here to cause no drama. Thank you, DJ, you're smart. And Red, what are you saying? Like, you think this is fun? Like, to like, what would you do? Like, you should never put a man that you're interested in that kind of situation. You're drama free and that's cool. That's it. I like that. I'm looking for a good girl, not a dirty girl. Why do you gotta film putting his pants on? I'm not very good at reading girls at all, especially with my ADD. It's almost like I'm at a zoo or something in there behind the cage and I'm just like, they're the animals. I'm just like. <laughs> Bad analogy. Bad analogy. There he is. Don't tell me they're all bowling together. This is great. Wes and John Wesley out here. Immature. Very immature. Last time you asked for a little wing man, what don't you f ask me. Damn. I'm trying to get no, you no, no. Well, what was our mission tonight? Not you. That, you dumbass. I'm <laughs> <in the first. laughs> nah, you dumbass. Hey, you've been drinking every weekend like this. Yeah, yeah, every weekend. If even three beers, you know, hurts me a minute worth of cardio, that could lose the fight for me. So I'm not going to do anything that fix my chance of winning. John Wesley, my guy. It's gonna fetch you. It may be 2%, but it's gonna fetch you. You ain't no motherfucking stud like you think you are. I mean, I you know what I'm saying? You can be better, but I just like to have fun. I'd rather have fun and then fight. I just don't want a chance at losing. I love it, man. You got to come to terms. You got a problem. And these kinds of issues become real big problems as you get older. I'm not talking about West specifically, but in general, if you don't sort of nip that at the bud, that can become an issue into your 20s where you're drinking, the rest of your friends are kind of moving on from it, and you're still getting hammered really bad. And obviously, you can't be a top level fighter and drink alcohol on a regular basis. This is not possible. <laughs> he was just drinking. Wait. So what is Wesley really fighting? I thought it was just John Wesley fighting. No, he doesn't. Wesley needs to cut 17 pounds to get to 55. Damn, John Wesley needs to cut eight pounds. Good job, John Wesley. How long have I been in here? Almost 40 minutes. Yo, whose house is this? Number one. Number one, whose house is this? Number two, whose house is this? Four pounds ago, John Wesley's a beast. He's on top. Yo, he's butt naked. 14 pounds ago. Yeah, so we just asking him just now? Look at him. He's honestly, John Wesley's in great shape for this. He went, he sparred the Muay Thai, sparred the MMA. He got his kicked in the training camp. I mean, he turned over a lot of stones. Oh, he's giving himself an enema to lose weight. This is just not a not good idea. He hasn't lost a pound. He just shoved something into his butthole and he still hasn't lost a single pound. Wesley. Wrong. 
the truth now. What happened to all the jokes, man? See? Listen, you gotta take your training seriously, your diet seriously. Don't let him drive. <laughs> can't drive in this truck if you can't you know, some some crash and kill somebody. <laughs> Great use of the word. Oh man, so he says you wanna you, you, I'm I'm done fighting. Why not just die at first, then come to the conclusion that you don't wanna fight? He jumped all the way to the conclusion of I'm giving up my passion. And what's also funny is he used the word metamorphosis. They're just gonna rehydrate him and give him IVs. He's gonna balloon back up to like twenty more pounds he's gonna gain probably. Hey, hug me back. Brittany's like, hug me back. I failed my nursing state fours. I was just like, oh no, like, I'm gonna be a waitress forever. I kinda got too drunk before the fights. Uh oh, here we go. Oh, that was John Wesley's dad's house? John Wesley comes from money too. John Wesley got that money. I ended up going to the hospital. So now all these people just think I'm a good. And uh, oh, I can't even tell you how that makes me feel. I feel like I just laid everybody down. Man, man, man. You like nobody, man. You like Definitely let us us all down because we want to see you fight and you chose to drink instead. Let's keep it light. Leave a like for the channel. It helps. Here we go. Yikes. Oh. Here we go. Super loud, drunk, obnoxious. Their friends were DJ, and apparently things got back to Wesley that, you know, I'd been hanging out with DJ, and it just started some unnecessary drama. I called it. Yikes. I'm getting nervous if I met him. Sometimes I get so nervous, I want the electricity. I'm going to get away from all these flyers for us to start from the stands. Well, that's the truth, you know? Well, let's not be self-centered and let's focus on your friend who actually did the work, but every single one of us have felt that feeling of like, uh, I don't know if I really want to do this, bro. Like, more more appropriately, why am I choosing to do this? Yikes. Run! Why would you? Yeah, I was just having fun. Oh, man. Okay. Here's a video of a guy getting bludgeoned. Bread, she was trying to make me just to hang out with that dude. It didn't work, so, I mean, that sucks for her. She can come in there with Brad Pitt on her arm and it wouldn't hurt my feelings none. Good, because Wes is like, I don't want nothing to do with her. Let's go, John Wesley. Let's go. If you're enjoying this episode, subscribe and turn on post notifications. Let's get back to the fight. He got all of Minden on his back. Oh, no. He doesn't stand a chance. Don't judge a book by its cover. I've been in this sport long enough to be able to judge a book by its cover. Trust me. He doesn't stand a chance. All right, they come out to the middle. John Wesley. Oh, throws a body kick. Weird timing, weird distance to throw the kick. Hits the single leg, gets the dump. Excellent job, but you can see there's a reversal here. And he ends up in the bottom uh, position here, but he wrestles up. His opponent has really good sprawl. He's looking for the guillotine, but not the ideal position against the cage to get it. Now, as you can see here, his opponent wants to start to scoot his hips out to his left, and that's gonna be able to lever down on John Wesley's neck to create that tension to get the finish, but Wesley's doing such a phenomenal job of keeping his opponent pinned against the cage. It's just not likely. Very few people have that squeeze. He bridges into it. Bad move. When you bridge in from bottom half guard, you lose the strangle. You lose the head. Now he's being pinned on bottom half guard. Not bad idea to throw those light body shots, but he should start switching his head to the opposite shoulder. They really create that pin position. It's not ideal. 
Beautiful, he gave up the mount. See, one of the worst things you can do from bottom half is start to bridge into a guy with the underhook, because he has a post leg with his left leg. Now you're going, Steven, this is way too highfalutin for me. Just understand this, you bridge from bottom like that, there'll be space between your knee and your elbow, and your opponent will always be able to occupy that space by stepping over. Now he's in a more dominant position in the mount. Very bad, very bad. Takes the back, looking to get the strangle. Ground and pounding. Arm lock position, beautiful, hits the arm bar. This is what I'm talking about. Oh, excellent levering down. Now, let's get into this. Now, I want you to look at something real fast. Notice that he's going for this far hip lever where he's trying to get an extension of the arm, break the arm. But I want you to take a look at Wesley's left leg. The point of the matter is notice that this left leg is running parallel with the mat. We call that a lowered fulcrum. So that when you push the elbow over your lowered fulcrum, there's not as much leverage as it looks like. So you're gonna actually wanna keep your knees vertical and pull that elbow over your hip joint, all right? So raise lever and that's gonna give you the ability to break the arm. Not saying you won't tap, right there. Now we're gonna start to draw that arm over the hip. He's not redirecting the wrist correctly. We cover a lot of this stuff on my Patreon, tier two and up. That's the pinned comment below. So if you're interested in really fine tuning your game, you can check that out. Loses position, but ends up in a front triangle and a mote senkaku, but the guy's not falling for it. Oh, so many missed opportunities, it, you know. But listen, he's learning on the job here. <laughs> he said Atari, he threw it back in the 80s. He says, you know, when you're playing Atari, you need the thumb to be up. But that's actually not a bad analogy because when you are going for arm bars, you want the thumb to be pointing away from you. You don't want the palm pointing away from you. It's not gonna give you the proper leverage for the break. Lands a good straight left hand. John Wesley lands a left hand, kind of runs in like uh, an amateur Vandalay Silva, but gets the double leg. Love to see it, beautiful takedown. His opponent didn't do a good job of fighting the grip. Now we have another mount. Now, see the thing, John Wesley knows he can dominate from the mount position. I think he's gonna finish with ground and pound here. Goes for the arm bar again, really poor setup. Vertical wedges like we discussed, and he gets the break. Excellent. Notice the difference there, he kept his knees vertical. Vertical wedges, a raised fulcrum gives you the opportunity to get the break. Good job, he put the work and he earned that win, man. That was fully earned. Every time he was grabbing that arm, he kept on pointing his thumb either left or right. That's an important detail. When you have someone on an arm bar, they're going to try to rotate their wrist. That's going to give them the ability to uh, take away leverage on the break. That's why you got to control his wrist two on one so that you can dictate where the wrist goes. Great episode of Cage. Now, if you feel inclined, check me out on Instagram and Twitter. And Strangle Gang, as always, I appreciate all the support that you've been showing me. And if you want to watch more episodes, as always, check out the playlists that are about to pop up now.